texture packs can turn your old boring Minecraft game into a sea of awesome. Here is a cool texture pack that'll make your Minecraft game beautiful. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I am your host, OMG Chad. Texture packs are a really, really cool part of Minecraft. It will allow you to completely reskin your game from top to bottom, menus and all. The default size of a texture in a texture pack is 16 pixels by 16 pixels. Anything that is larger than that 16 pixels is considered HD or high definition. In 1.5, HD texture packs were officially supported. They reworked the entire texture pack system. Now, in that reworking, they also allowed you to add animated texture packs. The cool thing is you don't have to mod, patch, do anything to your Minecraft game. Just put in a texture pack and it works. Now, some people are still not familiar with how to install a texture pack and it is dead simple. First, what you're gonna do is go to the options in your Minecraft, then click texture packs, then click open texture pack folder. This is the same on both a PC and a Mac. I already have one installed. This folder will be blank for you if you're starting off for the first time. Then head over to your browser of choice and download a texture pack. In this episode, we will be spotlighting Sfax Pure BD Craft. Go and find the download button. This is an HD texture pack, so there are many versions to choose from. So I'm actually going to download the 128 pixel by 128 pixel version and go ahead and click download and that will show up in my downloads folder once it is finished. Then you're going to take that file, here it is, copy it and drop it into the texture pack folder which you opened up earlier. Sfax has been around for quite a while, almost two years. It is one of the best, it's always updated, and it's even been updated for a lot of external mods. Now, I've rendered a few screenshots in a program called Chunky. If you want to see how I have made these screenshots, check back for next week's Spotlight, uh, where we will be spotlighting the program Chunky that I made these screenshots in. Now, uh, next I'm going to get into the game and show you what it looks like when you're actually playing Minecraft. But first, Amazon.com. You already know the great price, selection, and convenience of Amazon.com. You can buy everything you want from home. Now you can help support Twit with your Amazon purchases. It's easy. Just click through the Amazon banner at twit.tv slash Amazon and shop as you usually would. It's as simple as that and costs you nothing. And anything you purchase helps keep the lights on here at the Brick House. Do you not know what to buy at Amazon? Well, Twit has their very own picks. Over at twit.tv slash Amazon, you can see some of the most recent picks that we have reviewed on the Twit website. But whatever you buy, make sure to click through on the Amazon banner at twit.tv slash Amazon. It is an easy way to support Twit. And you can bookmark this page, so anytime you're about ready to check out on Amazon, just click the banner. There are even links for Amazon UK and Canada. Once again, that's twit.tv slash Amazon, and thank you for supporting this show and making it happen. Now, we are all set to show off what Sfax looks like in Minecraft. Now, to do this, instead of just looking at blocks and going, oh, that's a cool little block, that's neat, I have created a small little story to help show it off. So, this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Oh, I'm kidding. Uh, about these little pigs right here. Three little piggies, you may call them, uh, and one big bad wolf. Well, these piggies, their mother told them, you know what, go out and get a real life, get a real job, and now you're out on your own. So each of these piggies split up uh, to go do their own thing. 
the first little piggy headed off to the left here along this gravel pathway. And yes, I'm still trying to show off torches and mushrooms and in, uh, in this swamp biome. And he created a house out of hay. So this little piggy was a little bit destitute, as you can see by his, his little house. Um, he has a furnace here. He has a chest full of leather pants. And what? What has, what has this piggy been pork chop? Oh my God. You sick pig. You are, anyway. So this piggy was uh, in a little bit of bad luck because of course coming to his house was the big bad wolf here. And he was mad. And he said, little piggy, little piggy, let me into your house. And he said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And the wolf said, well then I will turn on this redstone and I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. So uh, you may think that the pig died in that big explosion that was caused by the nuclear wolf, but he actually didn't. Uh, he uh, lived and he went to go uh, to run to his brother who was a little bit better off, who lived in this house made out of uh, sticks, as you can see, the sticks. Now, the, the other brother was a little bit better off. He had some glowstone inside this. He actually had a door, which the other, other pig didn't want. Here's the pig, he's, he's still here. He's still safe, he has the saddle on. Uh, he has this nice, uh, but, the, but the other pig, living in the stick house, man, he had like a cool piston table. He had a lot more stuff in, well, actually he doesn't have any stuff in that chest, but he had like pictures on the walls, all up in his bedroom. He has a nice uh, book to read. He also has iron um, armor and some stone uh, things. Now let me show you what this iron armor looks like in game because it is pretty cool looking. Kind of looks like you're a welder here. Uh, kind of neat, kind of neat. So, uh, of course, they, these pigs were also in a bit of bad luck. Oh, here's also a jukebox, which is kind of cool. So these pigs were in a, bit, a little bit of bad luck, even though they had this really cool pool, which also had a diving board, which, of course, right now I'm going to do a little bit of cannonball off of, and 360 spin. Woohoo! Okay. Uh, but the wolf came back, and he said, little piggies, little pygmy, piggies, let me in. And they said, nope, not by the hairs of our chinny ch We have really hairy chins, if you didn't know. It's actually not in this texture pack, but let's just use our imagination. And so the wolf said, well, then I will huff and I will puff and I will use this redstone to blow your house down. And the piggies were pretty sad uh, because of the giant crater. At least the pool survived with the diving board. Now these piggies actually did survive and they ran off to their millionaire brother. Um, the, the millionaire brother, he actually wasn't a millionaire, he was just, well, actually he was a millionaire. I was going to say that he, he spent a lot of hard work working on his house, but actually he paid a lot of other people to work on his house. And what do you get when you, you get all of that work done on your house? Well, you get uh, this uh, really cool brick house. And uh, it also has some neat security features with this iron door. It has an iris scanner over here on the side, which allows you to jump in. Uh, kind of nice with all the redstone. I also have connected textures on. That's why this, uh, this glass pane looks like this. But look, here's the first pig with the saddle. Uh, the second pig is over here, chilling, chilling next to the lapis tree made out of mycelium. And it's a, it's a very expensive millionaire uh, dollar you know, like lapis tree. But he had redstone lamps in the floor. He has really cool bookshelves and, and you know, they look at these crazy paintings and cool flags on the top. All of this is in this texture pack. He even had a nice view of a cool pool over here. Now, this millionaire pig liked to stay in his bedroom over here. Here he is, the cash money stacks on the floor here. Uh, and he also had diamond armor in his, his chest. He had some cool things like clocks and compasses up here on the wall. Uh, he also uh, made all of his money through mining. And so here's his little mining shaft. And you can see all the cool ores and the different uh, blocks in game. Here are the diamond blocks, emerald blocks, emerald ores. I want to show this off in this texture pack. But of course, they weren't safe either. The wolf came to their house as well and said, yo pigs, in that sort of accent that he uses, he said, let me in to your house. And they said, no, dude, have you seen this iris scanner? It's not an iris scanner. It's actually just a button that Chad put on the wall that we've been calling an iris scanner, but dude, it is going to keep us safe. And they were right. No matter how hard the wolf tried to use TNT or tried to blow down the door, this house made out of brick stood strong. But the wolf was smart 
and he thought, you know what, they have this, this cool thing made out of all of this, uh, this nether quartz ore. Well, it's actually a fireplace, and right now it's, well, look at that. By the way, that is what um, netherrack looks like. It, it, it shifts. Like, when you go to the nether, everything looks all weird and crazy. So, anyway, he was like, I'm going to be super smart, and I'm going to come down the chimney. But Millionaire Pig had some wits about him, and right as the wolf was coming down, he used his dispensers to light the nether rack on. The wolf came down and unfortunately burnt himself, and he lived, actually, uh, to tell, to, to, see? Oh, wow, he, he did live. Man, good, good, on. I did not actually expect that. Are you still, oh, no. Um, so this maybe is not so happy of a story, but anyway, that is the story of the three little pigs in Sfax Pure BD Craft. I hope you enjoyed my fun little story. Sfax is really, really awesome, and of course, like I said earlier, it has support for a lot of different mods. Most of the mods in Feed the Beast and in Tekkit, including stuff like Industrial Craft, the Portal Gun, Build Craft, and a whole bunch of other mods. That is what makes this texture pack super duper fun. Thank you for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you want to catch all of our episodes and spotlights and tips and courses in the future, make sure that you subscribe. Either subscribe at youtube.com slash omgcraft or search for OMG Craft in iTunes. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft, and I will see you another day. <laughs>